Each year, Representative Terry Sewell hosts a series of town halls in each of the 14 counties she represents. And here in Demopolis, she shared that the Tom Bigby Health Care Authority will receive over $1.1 million. The funds will go towards the Whitfield Regional Hospital and Wallace Community College Nurse Caregiver Training Project. And what it will do is allow students to actually um, train in the healthcare profession uh, and be able to use this hospital as a teaching, you know, for, clini for clinical and uh, non-clinical um, therapies. So I, I think it's a win-win for our, our area. Not only do we create jobs today and we train people for the future, but we're hopefully also creating that pipeline of healthcare professionals that will help all throughout the Black Belt. CEO of Whitfield, Douglas Brewer, says they are excited to receive these funds, especially because the Black Belt is seen as a health desert. We don't intend to just train nurses for here. We need to train them for the full Black Belt, and that means that these nurses will train, be able to work with our patients, then go to Thomasville and go to Sumter County, over to York Hospital, and go up to Hell Hospital. We work closely with those hospitals in trying to create the kind of care that the Black Belt deserves. It, it really takes all of us to be able to do this. Wallace Community College Campus Director Blaine Hathcock says having a first-class facility where they can train healthcare professionals right here in Demopolis will have a major impact on the community. He says not only do they need more staff, but they need a facility where they don't have to travel. Uh, right now, uh, if you had a healthcare professional that was working here at the hospital and they wanted to get uh, additional education, whether it be short-term training, I mean it's 50 miles uh, to Selma. Uh, it's 50 miles of Tuscaloosa. So being able uh, to, to provide a facility here locally uh, that can train and, and, and where uh, people that are currently working get a, can get additional training is huge for our community and our region. Sewell says she fought to get this money included in the 2023 federal government funding <laughs> package, and she can't wait to see the impact it will have. In Demopolis, Tanisha Jackson, WTOK News 11.